Hi, Dragoon23 here. So in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to edit weapons in Alphabet Studio, mainly how to resize and do limited editing with them. I'm using version 5.3.1. So the major downside for using Alphabet Studio is that you can't delete or add anything to the weapon mesh, otherwise it'll become invisible in-game. For bows and arrows, you only have to edit one mesh each, the world model. For every other weapon, like the daggers, great swords, maces, and so on, you have to make two copies of the mesh, one for the first person model and one for the world model. So for this particular demonstration, I'm going to be showing how to edit the iron mace to be very large with the transform tool. So I'm going to drag the mesh here. So here's the iron mace. So in order to get to the transform tool, you either go to tools, current tool, and then transform or you can press F, or you press the circle with a clock sign, looks like. And so the way this thing works is that these arrows and colors all correspond to the X, Y, Z axes. The arrow specifically uh, means to move along that axis. Moving along. Uh, the circle means rotating around that axis, and this box in the middle represents enlarging or shrinking on that axis, while the black one means to enlarge or shrink along the whole axis. So because I want to make the whole mace uh, large, I need to highlight all the layers by either clicking shift and then Click that or click control and whichever layer I want to manipulate. And since I want to make this whole thing enormous, I'm going to use the black box and just make it very large. Oh, and to export, you either file, um, export to NIF, or you can press Control E. That's what I did. So Iron Mace, I'm going to copy that into my dummy folder here. So this is the third person model, or the world model. Um, you need to make an, a copy of this and rename it to whatever the first person mesh was called, which is first person Iron Mace. Have it your way. I'll take the job. But don't expect As you can see, out. it's very large in third person. First person <coughs> works kinda. And you can drop it. And pick it up. I can just find it. Resetting back to normal. Now let's say you only want to manipulate part of the mesh and not the full mesh. So in order to do that, uh, you will have to use a masking tool to mask the areas you don't want to manipulate, um, leaving the areas you want to manipulate. Um, so it's easier to do that if you can see the vertices you're manipulating. So in order to do that, you can go to Tools, Current Tools, Vertice Edit, or press Q, or press this pencil over here. So again, I'm just going to highlight the whole thing. We'll highlight vertices. So I'm just going to be manipulating the metal part up here. So and I'm going to make the brush size a little bigger. So red means it's not manipulated. It's going to be protected. So I'm just going to Highlight that part, and then after that, I'm going to press Control I to invert it. So now it's only that part. Let's say that I want to make it skinnier, so I'm just going to shrink the size. 
and maybe I want to make it larger on that uh, going up. So maybe let's move it up a little bit. Okay, let's say that's what I want. So I'll export it by Control E. Have it your way. I'll take the job. As you can see, it got shrunk. And whatever I wanted to do to it worked. But don't expect that. And, 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 uh, first person and third person, it works. I'm going to show how to do the limited editing as I mentioned. So as again, um, as I said earlier, when you're using outfit studio, let's say I want to get rid of these spikes on the dragon bow arrow, uh, bow, dragon bone bow. Um, and also I want to get rid of string. Now, as I said, you cannot actually delete any vertices. Otherwise it'll make this whole part, the bone part, invisible and all you'll see in screen is this the um the backbone of the of the dragon bone but you can manipulate the vertices and the string um so it so you can't see them so i'm going to demonstrate that how um so first i'm going to select all these spikes and the string make my brush a little smaller easier so we'll select each of these. And I'm going to press, so you select it and you press D and that will select the whole part of that layer of the mesh. Assuming they're not connected. If they're connected, so for example, if I press this part, it'll highlight this whole thing. But anyway. Invert that. Now I'm going to move it into the handle portion. So here, I'm going to move all those spikes in by using the transform tool. So I'm going to shrink them. Okay. See, I have shrunk them, and now I'm going to move them into the handle, so then they're gone. And now you can't see them. The vertices have not been changed. I have not added or deleted anything, but I have shrunk and moved them into the handle, so now they're not visible. Export this as a bow. And as I said, for bows, bows don't have a first-person model, so you only have to do one model. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. As you can see, the string is missing because it's inside the handle. And there's no spikes.
works as a world model. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so um, that's it for this video. Um, if you have any suggestions for what other videos I can make on Outfit Studio, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I hope you found this useful. Bye.